above the streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. <laughs> Wait, wait, here, what? Oh, dear, I thought I'd been whistling in my sleep. Oh, listen, can you hear it? Oh, it must be Bungo. No, 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 he's not Bungo whistling, he's snoring. Oh, dear, I wonder what it is. Oh, I don't like it, whatever it is. First it was whistling and uh, now it's going zippy babunga will wake up, wake, wake up, wake up. What's wrong? Where am I? What's the matter, George? Listen. Oh, what a horrible noise. Oh, what is it? Well, I don't know. I mean, perhaps it's Geoffrey. Well, don't be silly, Zip. It's not Geoffrey. It's coming from outside. I don't like it. Are you all right? It's yeah. that wind outside. Oh. Look at that, it's blowing your window yeah. open. Yeah. Dear, oh dear. Oh, is oh. that what was making all that noise, Geoffrey? The wind? Yes, it's a very stormy night tonight, Bungle. Oh. Very, very windy indeed. Oh, it's horrible. First it was going. Now he's going whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Oh, now, Come on, now try and get some sleep. Oh. Now close the window so it shouldn't blow open again. Mm. Good night. 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 Good I did I if you I listened to all the noises the wind made. Yes, and listen to all the noises Bungle made. Well what noises? Snoring Bungle. Rather funny noises. Uh, I don't snore. Yes, you do. I expect you do too, Zippy. It's too windy, Zippy. Where does it come from? Well, I really don't know, George. You can't see wind, can you? <laughs> Well, of course you can, Bungle. You can see the trees blowing and the washing dry. Yes, Ebby, but Bungle's quite right, you know. You can't actually see the wind, only what it does. Yeah, but I don't understand, Geoffrey. Well, look, Ebby, if I blow on your hand like this, you can feel it, can't you? Yeah. But you can't see it. Look, if I blow on this windmill, the windmill will turn round, see? But you can't see the wind that's making it turn round. Yep. But that's not wind, that's you blowing, Geoffrey. Yes, it's my breath, Zippy, watch. Ooh, 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 ooh. Is there someone up in the sky with big cheeks and a big mouth blowing and making all that wind? No, I don't think so, George. Ooh. Oh, Geoffrey, look, if I blow onto this, it uncurls and makes a funny noise. <laughs> Stop it, mother, I'll blow you away. You couldn't, Zippy! Oh, so you're right, Bungle. I don't think anyone can blow you away. <laughs> Zippy, sometimes the wind is soft and gentle, like me. And sometimes it's strong and noisy. Like Zippy! <laughs> <laughs> Quite right, Bungle. Well, what makes the leaves rustle in the trees? What makes your coat flap around your knees? What makes the clouds sail across the sky? Blows up the dust, ooh, sometimes in your eye. And what makes the windmill turn round and round and round? And what keeps your kite from falling to the ground? It starts off as a breeze and ends up as a gale. Do you know the answer to this simple tale? The wind. The wind. The wind! <laughs> Say it again, Jeffrey. What makes the leaves rustle in the trees? 
What makes your coat flap around your knees? What makes the clouds sail across the sky? Blows up the dust, sometimes in your eye. What makes the windmill turn round and round and round? And what keeps your kite from falling on the ground? It starts off as a breeze and ends up as a gale. Do you know the answer to this simple tale? The wind! The wind! The wind! Hey, it's still windy outside. I'm glad I'm inside where it's nice and warm. Oh, look, there's Rod, Jane and Freddy. I wonder what they're doing outside in the wind. Getting blown about, I expect. <laughs> if they were sensible, they'd come indoors. Maybe they like being out in the wind. Make sure you wear some nice warm clothes If you ever go out when the north wind blows There's nothing like a windy day To blow Scarecrow? The shirt blew on to him. Yeah. Oh, Geoffrey, do you know any stories about scarecrows? No, Bungle, but I do know a story all about the wind. Would you like to hear it? Oh, oh yes, yes, please. Yes, please, Jack. Right, well, today's story is called Cocky the Weathercock. Uh, weathercock? What do you weathercock? Look, that's a weathercock, George. Oh. He sits on top of a church steeple and turns around, pointing whichever way the wind is blowing. Oh, he ain't hanky ever. <laughs> well, here's the story. Right at the very top of the church steeple sat Cocky, the weathercock. And every day he would turn around in the wind, showing everyone in the village below which way the wind was blowing. He would point north one day, south the next day, sometimes east, and sometimes west. But when he woke up today, something had happened. Cocky had got stuck. Oh, help, he said. cock a doodle -doo, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, I can't move. Well, down below in the churchyard, the people were just coming out of the church. Oh, what a cold wind, they were saying. It must be coming from the east. But when they looked up at Cocky, he was facing south. That's very strange, said the vicar. Cocky's facing the wrong way. I'm facing the wrong way because I'm stuck, shouted Cocky. No one's bothered to oil me for years. I'm stuck. Suddenly there was a gust of wind, and all the ladies' hats blew off. 
They went running all over the churchyard looking for them. <laughs> Cocky laughed. Then the wind changed direction and started blowing from the north. The vicar said, Oh, a north wind. Oh, I hope we don't get snow. So do I, said Cocky to himself. It's bad enough having a cold wind blowing through my tail. The wind started to get stronger and stronger. It whistled past Cocky and the church steeple. Down below, everyone hurried home, complaining about how cold it was. It grew darker and darker. The wind blew harder and harder, but Cocky didn't move. He was well and truly stuck. All night long, the wind howled around the village, blowing dustbin lids off, rattling the doors and the windows, and even blowing an old tree down in the churchyard. Cocky started to move a little to the right, and then a little to the left. And then, just as it was getting light, the wind blew itself out with one enormous puff. We sent Cocky spinning around, around and around. <laughs> Hooray, squat Cocky, I'm free again. Oh, but I do feel dizzy spinning around like this. When he stopped, he was facing south. What a change in the wind, he said. A nice, gentle, warm breeze. He looked down and saw the vicar looking up at him. I think it's time we gave Cocky a new coat of paint and some oil. Then he won't get stuck again. cock a doodle -doo, sang Cocky. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Thank you, Geoffrey. Thank you, Geoffrey. I wonder, have you got a, a weathercock on your church steeple showing you which way the wind's blowing? Geoffrey, can we go outside and play in the wind? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yes, please, Geoffrey, can we? Oh, I don't think I want to go outside. I might get blown away. <laughs> no, I don't think I want to go outside either, George. Oh, that's all right, Geoffrey. You and George stay here, and Bungle and I will go outside, because we're brave. Come on, Bungle. Yes, all right, Zippy, yeah. come on. I'd rather stay indoors, where it's nice and warm. Yes, with me to look after you, Jeffrey. That's right, George. Well, I think George and I better say goodbye to you now. But listen, we'll see you again very soon. G goodbye. Bye. Oh, you have to go outside if you want to say goodbye to Bungle and Zippy. <laughs> Viewers might like to know that the new Rainbow Annual is now available.